Yeah, Virginia Union's a ninth best shooting free throw team in the CIAA, shooting just a bit over 61%. Conversely, Shaw shoots about 69%, which is fourth best in the CIAA. And when you get under seven minutes in the tournament game, especially a game where you're going to upset somebody possibly, you've got to be able to convert on free throws. And a foul shot. He'll have one more coming here. Eight points so far. Tonight tries to get number nine, and they need every point they can get down the stretch here. And they'll get one of the two. Nine points in the game by Juan Wilson out of Open High School there in Richmond, Virginia. Braxton's back in the ball game. Coming up a little late, like he's a little gingerly. Maybe he turned an ankle or something that we missed, but uh, they're going to need some offense out of Bra Braxton Byers at number 24. Shaw working perimeter ball. Redford got a handle on it. They drive for the hoop. There's a prayer shot thrown up that time on the outside by Daryl Johnson. Finally knocked out of bounds as they scramble for the rebound by Shaw. Sam, if Union's going to get back in the game, I think they got to take advantage of the fact that Callwood is out of the ball game because they can put a little more pressure on the perimeter guys of, of Shaw. And that's not the way they want to try to get back in with a turnover, number 11 on the night for Union as they turn the basketball back over. Only six turnovers today for Shaw. They've taken care of that basketball very well when oh, they needed to. Oh, no question. This is a team that's had 10 or more turnovers, you know, or 18 turnovers, I should say, in 10 games. Well, they had a, they had a game where they had 27 turnovers, oh. you know, obviously in the loss in the 25. So, yeah, you, you can't turn it over. They haven't done that today. Uh -oh. Raheem Smith, there is a nail as he puts it down with a three. That's his third of the night and his 13th point of this game, and that was a huge shot. But we've seen it all night long. You hate to be like a broken record, but it was penetration by the guard, just like that by Byerson. But it was penetrate and then a kick to a jump shooter who was ready to shoot the basketball. So again, a 62, or excuse me, 60-52. Eight-point game here with Shaw working. Johnson has it blocked from behind. That time King got a hand on it and blocked it from behind, and here comes Union. There's Braxton. Shot no good. Rebound comes up on the rebound on a tough one inside. As again, Johnson hands it off, and they'll bring it ahead with Raheem Smith. Shaw up by eight. 5-17 left to go. Stan, you pointed out they just try to nurse every possession. Depends on how aggressive but Union gets. At the time we were talking, yeah, you're nursing to get the timeouts. Now you've got to continue to nurse, but you've got to also be aggressive. Aware shot clock to every possession, you got to make a play. Right now they got to attack. Shaw shooting 54% from the three-point line. Just nails another one. And Smith knocks down his fourth three of this game. He's got 16 points. And because McDonald's is deeply rooted in the community and one of our proud sponsors, as you drive up 95 Union, you can stop at McDonald's and pick up some burgers. <laughs> and Bowie State and Union may be doing that before this night is over. Bowie is heading that way for sure. Sticking at three's king. Out of the corner, knocks down another three for him. And I say that at the rate of how Shaw's playing. And every time Shaw's needed a basket, Raheem Smith, Callwood, Bell early has stepped up and made the play. The Virginia Union's not shown me the ability to be able to stop them right now. Especially with Callwood out of the game, you got to take full advantage of that. Double screen on one side, single on the other, and then you go isolation. 63-55. Down the lane they go. Blocked by Redford. Comes out and they're running. McDonald on the run. Slices to the right side. Back outside to Braxton Byerson. He hands it off, and they'll set the offense with McDonald. Wilson on the high post. 19 on the shot clock. Redford. Back at it goes to Byerson for three. Got it. Well, you said they needed some heroics out of him, and he just knocked down his second three of the game, his ninth point, and it is now a 63-58 game. Well, I like Braxton's moxie. He's a guy that, that, that just competes all the time. He's not afraid to take the big shot. If he misses, it's okay, well, give me the next one. Union again dropping back a little deeper. They were putting a lot of pressure a moment ago within five, and 3-11 left to go. They don't relax, but they ease it up a bit. As now a block and a foul is going to be called, and they'll call that on Redford. The foul is on number 31. Go 
Going to the line, shooting free throws. Will be Raheem Smith, and he'll do so after the timeout. So again, the long ball is proved to be one of the big differences today for Shaw, as they've got a five-point lead heading down the stretch of the CIAA. Sam Smith joined by Stan Luter and Chip Tarkington. Glad you could join us for today as Elizabeth City's already advanced to the semi tomorrow, and they'll play the winner of this game as Raheem Smith will go to the line and shoot two for Shaw. Stan, a couple of stats that normally don't uh, show up. You're always looking for percentages, rebounds, and et cetera. Second chance points today for Shaw, 17-8. Points in the paint, 14-8. And fast break points, very few, but 4 nothing in favor of Shaw. Three stats that kind of show that they have control of the game. That, that fast break, you're right, they haven't really run. One was that long pass, right? But those points in the paint are very telling because that's exactly what Theo Hill said. We've got to, our bigs have got to play good. We've got to get some inside points. They've well, they it. are battling for that ball right now. It's like a scrum at uh, midcourt and finally comes up to King. Reset the clock. And they do with 2.35 left to go. Here's a three out of the right side, no good. Rebound, Redford battling for it. Throws it back in, but throws it out of bounds. Right in the hands of one of the uh, Winston-Salem Rams fans who say, we're back. They're coming back <laughs> next year. Miss Sims, Arlene Sims, was uh, was injured a couple of weeks ago. I want to send our well wishes to her. She's been a big-time fan of the CIAA, even when the Rams weren't there. And a diehard Winston-Salem fan forever. And anybody that's ever been to Ram games knows exactly what we're talking about. Miss Sims, get well soon. We look forward to seeing you next year at the tournament. We've had some great Ram games, that's for sure, over the years. Shaw putting together one of their best games that they needed here as they're up by five, closing in on two minutes. 15 on the shot clock. Raheem Smith almost had his pocket picked by King. Baskin gets it cross. Smith will take it to the basket in the crowd. No good, but he's fouled. And he'll go to the line and shoot free throws. Well, they had to have a couple of guys step up, and Callwood and Smith have certainly done so, Stan. And, of course, I think Michael Smith has come off the bench and really controlled this club very well as well. Well, he's given him that little extra step and been able to create off his own dribble and, and make some plays. Yeah, but Raheem Smith, who you expect as a, as a junior that has scored big games this year to come up and make some plays, and what can you say about Rodney Callwood? He's just done, he's been very serviceable, 7 out of 15, got a couple of rebounds, but now with those four fouls, you've got to take advantage of it if you're union. And if you can keep him on the bench, if you're Shaw, you're going to keep him on the bench and say, hey, look, big fella, rest, and we'll see you tomorrow. 68-56, Elizabeth City winning by a dozen over Bowie. Now Shaw with two free throws here. And 18 points by Smith, and now taking the lead to 65-58. Now a minute 58 left to go. The winner goes on to play in the semis against the Vikings tomorrow. The loser goes home. A tough take to the basket, and it's up and good. Boy, King has certainly been the bell cow hill as Bascom comes up with his second personal foul. Well, again, we said to King early in the year, we want to see if you can play. If you can, you're going to play. If you can't, we're going to have to sit. He has certainly come up tonight and had a really good game. Pass, drive, contact, strength enough to get it up, and a nice work. And a nice little finish there. And that's the way to finish a three-point play as he does. 21 points. Only four away from his career high at 25 as a whistle and a foul on the backcourt. McDonald knocking Michael Smith down. And both teams over the limit, so two free throws on both ends now. Willard Coker looking on, of course, 19, and 19 wins a year ago, 19 again this year. Hopes it does not stop. You see the top game there. Elizabeth City already advancing. Later today, of course, it'll be St. Augs, the number one team. They'll be trying to protect that against Livingstone. And Shawan and Johnson C. Smith. Smith, the two-time defending champions here. Coker, you know, was a part of that. The Dave's very first national champion team in 1980. Coker was a guard on that basketball team and has been a part of all three of Dave's uh, national championships. And, and when he handed the reins to him, he said, hey, look, I just hope I can, I don't want to feel the shoes. I just want to be able to create my own, but I want to follow those footsteps. He's done a good job. Easy, guys, easy. Wow. 
Still playing with that intensity here in the closing minute 42. That's King. And a ball on a foul. And they call a foul on King on that wrestling job out of bounds. And free throws coming here for Shaw as they try to shut the door. Dan, it'll be interesting to see if you uh, get your homework done and find out when two and three were knocked out. Oh, I'll, in, I'll find it. Trust me. Trust me. It'll be. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you something else in a second. That, that's just as amazing. Shot is up and good. That's Baskin is shooting the free throws. That, by the way, is his first points of the game. Guy that's not known to score a lot. He got 11 along with eight rebounds last night, but he is uh, getting only his first two points of the game here. And maybe in the, enough just kind of slammed the door. 69-61 with the three-point shot in the game, though you got to watch out. That one is going to be blocked and comes off the floor, and Shaw will have it. Has it knocked away? Another freeze on its way. That one is good. Ford knocks down his third three of the night. Not dead yet. 69-64. A minute 20 left to play. Michael Smith weaves into traffic and then wisely brings it out. Goes to Raheem Smith. And a whistle and a foul called on Raheem for shoving off. Lua Coker had been asking for that for the last couple possessions when Smith had the basketball in the open court. Finally gets the call he wants. Now the question comes, can Virginia Union execute and get this play? They've still got three timeouts remaining. So here we come down to the final minute 10. A little too casual for my taste getting the ball up right now. You just got to play with a sense of urgency. That's King to the basket. It's blocked and knocked down by Raheem Smith. They go for a steal and will draw a personal foul. No, they call the jump. And it'll still go to Shaw. As the arrow is favoring them here in the closing minute. Sam, since 2000, Bowie State or Virginia Union has been in every CIAA semifinal game but one. That one year was in 2001. They played in eight finals. Everybody's been there except these two. They've only missed one time. We're about to see it twice. Wow. Well, it's been a night that has seen a lot of people step to the floor, but one of the guys that's really come forward here is the left-hander, and our Bank of America play of the game is Raheem Smith knocking it down, and that was a huge three. Raheem ending up with a total of 18 so far. 19 points by Callwood. That's the leading scorers for Union. Our student for Shaw, of course, you got to look back at 14 points by Dwight Bell. I think he probably set the tone of this game pretty well, don't you think, Stan? Yeah, he did. I mean, he, he really knocked Union off stride hitting those early three-point baskets. You had the defense that was designed primarily to kind of go inside and stop Callwood and dare the perimeter guys to beat you. Well, they stepped up and beat him. And just like the beginning of the season, the tempo of the game was in Shaw's favor, and they may come out with just another upset. Pressure and some quick fouls here against uh, Michael Smith. And a whistle and a foul called on Ford. And two shots coming here by Shaw with 57 seconds left to go in the game. You know, and again, you, you, when you think about the last few years and the success, the two teams that have won the CIAA East has either been Bowie or Virginia Union stayed one year, three years ago when Virginia State won the CIAA East. Bowie State, Virginia Union have been, have just had a stranglehold on it. You know, we talk about 2000. You go back even further, the 1984 CIAA tournament has always had primarily Union. I mean, Bowie just got kind of good here in the last, you know, 10 or 11 right. years. But since 84, Union or Bowie's been in the semifinals every year but three. So, I mean, that tells you the domination of these two teams. And not to have either one of them in the semifinals tomorrow night, it's going to be strange. But it's going to be a great opportunity for some other teams to maybe get another CIAA championship. Well, the highest seeds, certainly St. Augs number one. Shawa number four and Johnson C. Smith number five are the ones to the left as the rebound on the miss by Colwood and he's fouled and will shoot two. 71-64 as Virginia Union was looking for their 20th win of the year. They will be denied here by Shaw that will pick up their 16th win of the year and against 13 losses. 